Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Libra? Ten of Swords, Gemini energy at the foundation. Libra, there's some sort of major cycle that's ending in your life right now. And I feel like this is all a result of these astrological transits we're going through. We're just now coming out of Mercury retrograde, but there's still many other planets in retrograde. So there's a lot of energies that are coming up for review. There's a lot of energies that are being unearthed. A lot of truth is coming to light. And this is allowing you to really move into a new cycle in your life, release all these old stuck energies. So it really is the energy here of a new beginning for you. What do we have the sacral? Hangman, Pisces energy at the sacral. And I was just saying this in the Leo reading. As you're moving on from these cycles, this is when you start to get a lot of illumination, a lot of truth around what it was you were actually a part of or what it was you were dealing with. You just start to see things from outside the fishbowl, from this universal kind of perspective, right? It's an energy of not being able to see the forest for the trees when you're entertaining or a part of these cycles in your life. So now you're starting to see as you're moving forward, as you're beginning to let go that these cycles were creating a lot of restriction in your life. But you are chalking this up to wisdom gained. You're also realizing the amount of delays that these cycles caused in your life. So this could have been people that you worked with. This could have been people that you were dating, people in your community, something like this. It's just an energy of you moving forward now and really seeing clearly just how much these individuals or these circumstances were holding you back. It's like an energy where you felt very ungrounded, very isolated. It's almost an energy of being stuck inside so much illusion that you actually thought you were doing something wrong. And this is usually a tactic that will be utilized to keep you stuck anyway. What do we have at the solar plexus? Eight of Wands at the solar plexus, Sag energy. So I feel like you're moving very quickly into this new season, into this new timeline. I feel like the pace is really picking up. After a time of just a lot of delays, a lot of frustrations, some of you might be getting some sort of new opportunities that are going to start quickly moving towards you. And this is also going to allow you to see truly how energy works. Because when you release these old energies, these individuals from your life, these situations, you start to make way for new energies. It's, it's almost like an energy of you wondering why you weren't getting any opportunities before and then you remove yourself from these situations and these opportunities just start flooding towards you. It's because you're not giving up your power to these individuals or circumstances anymore. You've taken complete control over your life. You're not allowing these individuals to dominate you, however that shows up for you. What do we have at the heart position, please? Nine of Pentacles in reverse at the heart, Virgo energy. So yeah, this is an energy of setbacks. I feel like these individuals were just jealous of you is really what it comes down to. It's like an energy of just having individuals around you working overtime to hold you back because they don't want to have to face their own shadow side by seeing you step into your power. There's something about seeing you step into your power that exposes them for who they really are. This is an energy here of these individuals really taking advantage of you as well. I feel like you also put a lot of work and time and energy and love into some of these people, only to now see that it was them the entire time that was doing things to hold you back, which is telling me that this could be family for a lot of you, right? We start to see that it's the closest people to us that hold us back, or maybe these are people that are in your community, people that work alongside of you. 
people that were sabotaging you the entire time out of jealousy. This is also an energy here of you working overtime to try and please people that cannot be pleased. It's an energy of them just laughing behind your back at you because it's like they feel like they're dominating you by getting you to function inside of this energy of always feeling like you need to please them, make them happy. What do we have at the throat? Three of Wands, Aries energy at the throat. So this is an energy of you moving forward now after a lot of delays and setbacks in your life. You're actually able to start making plans for the future. This is an energy of foresight. This is somebody who's taking leadership over their life. This is also the energy of an entrepreneur. So I feel that you're now able to actually work on all these things you've been wanting to do, things you've been feeling very passionate about, quite possibly things that quite possibly creative ventures, hangman at the sacral energy. This is you starting to see the truth. You're like, uh-huh, I see now why I wasn't able to do this before, right? So now it's like you remove yourself from these energies and uh, Libra, you always have to remove yourself. Don't give somebody else the power by waiting for them to remove themselves. You need to take control over your life here. Okay, this is very important. Um, and there's a reason why they wanted me to emphasize that. Maybe some of you are waiting for somebody to move on from an area you're in or something like this. This is still you giving up the power in some capacity, okay? Because chances are it will never happen. And I feel for a lot of you, okay, yeah, I just heard them say that a lot of you out there are in cycles where you're waiting for other people to change or move on, and it's just wasting life minutes. And this is how the devil works. He just has to waste that life clock, right? So you need to be very careful, okay? You need to take control over your life. What do we have at the third eye? Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, at the third eye. There's a twofold message with this page of swords here. On one hand, this is you really moving into this very revitalized energy. You're moving into this new season of your life. You're very excited. You're feeling like a new person. And it's also an energy here of these individuals all have their eyes on you. And there could be up to 10 people. I see 10 birds there, right? So it's an energy of like gossip. It's an energy of prying eyes. Some of these people could be stalking your social medias, stuff like this. But my third eye position is also the position that the divine wants to get you to. So they want to get you to the point where you're now functioning in this new revitalized energy. And when you start encompassing this energy, it triggers this sort of gossipy spying energy. This is all meant to happen exactly like this, Libra. Okay, and you're actually supposed to be aware of this because this is a benchmark. This is you really re this is you reaching the next level in the game. When you got people talking, Libra, when you got people gossiping and spying on you and stalking your social media pages, there's usually a really good reason. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that 100% of the time, it has to do with some sort of envy or jealousy of what you have and what they don't, what you've been able to accomplish and what they haven't. What do we have? Wow, look, there's six of wands there, but I'm going to keep going because it's too many cards. So victory. What do we have with the crown? <sighs> Seven of Wands. This goes along perfectly with what I'm saying, right? Leo energy at the crown. So this is the energy that the divine is calling you to utilize to get through this cycle here. This is an energy of perseverance. This is somebody who's taking the offensive. This is somebody who's taking a stand for themselves and their life, not allowing anybody to hold them back anymore, right? There's all those individuals and all their opinions, right? trying to tell you who you are and who you're not, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. It's only just now, since you're removing yourself from these situations, that you're seeing huge 
progress in your life. Make no mistake, any chance that they can get to pull you back into this old cycle, they'll take it because they'll be highly favored by the devil if they're able to pull you back, Libra. So just be aware of this. Stay in this Seven of Wands energy. Defend your new beginning if you have to. You don't need validation from anyone. And you have a legion of spirit guides behind you, backing you up as you transition into this new timeline. So you really have nothing to worry about. These individuals are trying to compete with you, which is completely laughable at this point. What do we have at the foundation from the occult tarot? Let's see what demons are trying to keep my Libra's root chakra blocked, please. Justice, Astaroth. So this is justice in reverse. So this is them thinking it's very unfair that you get to move into a new timeline and they don't, right? It's an energy of shame. These individuals are being brought to shame because people are starting to see the truth about them. Just how truly dishonest these individuals are. These individuals are lacking any sort of accountability. This is why they don't grow. This is why they remain stuck. They cannot look at themselves in the mirror. And they think that you moving into a new season in your life is a major injustice to them. These individuals are very self-entitled. They want all the blessings, but they don't want to put any of the work in for these blessings. These are also godless people who, because they're not putting the work in to receive these blessings, they'll curse God's name. These are the type of people who expect to just sit back and not have to do any work. And all of a sudden, they'll be reaping a harvest, having abundance flood towards them. I know this energy very, very well, Libra, okay? Because there's a lot of people that actually watch tarot. There's a lot of people in the tarot community that have this same way of thinking. You know, it's like I'll do a collective reading and then I'll see all these comments of people getting angry because they're not inside these energies. It's because they're not doing the work. It's really that simple. Okay, there's people who do the work and there's people who don't do the work. And I've spoken to countless people who do do the work who do enter inside these energies. So for any buddy out there who's listening to this reading right now, if you're not moving into this energy right now, it's because you're not doing the work. Okay, so my readings are for people who are doing the work, period. It's really all it comes down to. What do we have at the sacral? Too many cards. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Ammon. So this is Two of Pentacles in reverse. This goes along perfectly with what I said. Two of Pentacles in reverse is an energy of not being able to commit, right? It's an energy of struggle. It's an energy of instability. It's a very scattered, disorganized energy. These individuals are always making up excuses why they can't put in the work. See right here how it's like he's got what looks like a broken wrist. To me, I'm looking at this card right now and it's like, oh, I can't do the work. Can't I just have my blessings? I don't, I can't do the work because my wrist is all hurty. You know, it's this kind of energy. It's just an energy of always making up excuses as to why they can't put in the work to better themselves is really what it comes down to, Libra. Okay. And we all know people like this. Okay. But it's not your problem. A lot of you have worked really hard to enter this season of reaping all the fruits for your labors, okay? And you're going to be faced with people who just can't accept that. It's not your problem, okay? They've had the exact same opportunity to wake up and do the work as well. And they chose to be lazy, stay asleep inside the matrix, and not do the work. What do we have at the solar plexus? Ace of Cups, Beer. This is Ace of Cups in reverse from the Occult Tarot. So this is an energy of having repressed emotions. These individuals not wanting to do the shadow work. It's a very drained, empty kind of energy. See, what's so interesting here, Libra, the amount of energy they put into trying to battle up against you, compete with you, Seven of Wands energy at the crown, they could use half of that energy and start bettering themselves. But no, they would rather put every drop of energy they have into gossiping about you and slandering you. 
competing with you, complaining why they're not getting blessings. There's absolutely no logic to this. It's completely senseless. These are very power-hungry, domineering individuals. These are people that always have something to say about what you're doing. You could be in the season of reaping all these blessings for all your hard work, and they'll be making fun of you or saying like, well, I wouldn't do it like that. Or have you seen what Libra is doing? And blah, 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 right? Something like this. What do we have at the heart? Wow. Valfor, Capricorn energy, ambition. This is um, four of pentacles in reverse. So this is an energy of a poverty mindset. This is exactly what these people have. This is the energy of a poverty mindset on this table. People who don't think you deserve something because they themselves can't pull that into their life because they don't want to put the work into it, but would rather put more energy into trying to hold you back. This is a karmic cycle you're leaving. And when you leave this cycle, Libra, make no mistake, they'll do this same thing to somebody else. Your best course of action here is to keep pushing. The further you get away from these energies, the higher you go, the less this energy will affect you. Because it's getting to the point now where people are looking at these individuals like they're completely crazy. Like Libra is doing really good in their life. How could you say that about them? How could you say this about your son or your daughter or your old best friend, whoever this is to you? This is somebody who was close to you or people that were close to you. But at the same time, Libra, this had to happen just like this because other people needed to see these people for who they really are. I feel like these individuals have gotten away with this for way too long. These individuals are haters. They're dream killers. And then we have Lelahel, which is the Knight of Pentacles from the Angel Tarot, Light of Understanding. So Knight of Pentacles is a very reliable, very patient, hardworking energy, but it's also the light at the end of the tunnel. This is you on path, working towards this new life. It's a very slow moving energy, but it moves at the pace that it's supposed to. This is you enjoying the journey, enjoying your new life. And it's like this energy here wants to show up, right? And stand right in front of you. Blocking this new beginning for you. You're seeing the truth about all of these energies and why you actually didn't get here sooner. You're understanding now how energy works. This is also a very methodical, very thorough energy that you're now encompassing as you step into this new season of your life. You guys are right on target. And this resistance you're dealing with, Libra, it's very predictable. Let's just put it that way. And it's nothing that you can't handle. It's completely laughable. Because when you truly step into your purpose, you absolutely do not care what anybody else thinks. You don't need anybody's validation. You take your validation from the divine, your spirit guides, and God only. That's it. What do we have at the throat, please? Five of... Pentacles, Taurus energy, Achaia, the forbearing God, patience, reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. So this is an energy here of hope returning to you now, Libra. It's an energy of perseverance. After a time of being trapped inside what can seemingly be some sort of spiritual poverty, but I don't even really feel like you even really understood what it was that you were a part of until you moved away from it. There's just a lot of opportunity you're moving towards with this three of wands stacked with this five of pentacles at the throat. There's a lot of hope here. It's also an energy of recovery. So just being very patient with yourself right now. You're still healing. You're going to continue healing. You're still having illumination and perspective around these cycles. Just keep pushing forward. You're right on target depending on where you are on this timeline. What do we have at the third eye? Okay, what are we going to take here? Too many cards. What do we have at the third eye, please? Damabia, the world. God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. 
I have a major ringing in my right ear right now, Libra. This is a cycle you're closing out. This is an energy of completion here. We started this reading on you closing out this cycle. We went through your journey. We went through the resistance you've been facing. Now we're going into the outcome here. Make no mistake, Libra. This is a karmic cycle that you're either now closing out, you've closed out, or you're being called to close out, depending on where you are on the timeline. So right here is a message of the energies that are available to you as you close out these cycles in your life. What do we have at the crown to close this out for Libra, please? Eight of Swords. Gemini energy at the crown, Mebahel, God, protector and savior, truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. This is an energy here of you no longer feeling imprisoned by these karmic cycles, these individuals, however this shows up for you, leaving this energy of restriction behind. It's an energy of freedom, liberating yourself, moving into a new timeline and understanding exactly who was against you the entire time. I feel like that's their head right there, right? It's just an energy here of you having your boot on your enemy's necks. But spiritually speaking, you don't even need to do anything. All you need to do is step into this timeline. Step into this new hope, complete these cycles. And energetically, this is how it kind of looks. It's like an energy where they can't move. People see them for who they are. Libra, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Libra. Take care.